Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to start a new Laravel series and we are going to build a Laravel CMS website with a Statamic CMS. If you go to statamic.dev and here is our the website and you can uh, navigate in, inside the documentation and see what you want. So for example, if you go to the installation, this is how we can uh, install the Satamic with the help of Composer. So you need to have the Composer installed. Okay, so just copy this command and go to the terminal, navigate to your direct directory and first install the Okay, after that, you now can run the Statamic new and the name of the application you want to create. So, in our case, Statamic new and I'm going to add the name Laravel. Okay, and which starter kit would you like to install from? And this is the Satamic. Satamic is blank. You have the starter kit, but we are going to install the first one, the blank one. And I think. It... Okay, now it's going to install the Statamic website. You can create via Composer. So compose the create project and statamic statamic in the name. Here is, here is the official st starter kit. So a beautiful multi-author capable block. So this is the block, a super clean markdown focus block. So is for the markdown and all other things. Docs, quick start your documentation website so if you want to want to start a documentation website you can choose this one a boutique one a, a simple commerce okay uh, if you go now to the Laraveller and open with visual studio code Uh, I'm going to zoom it. Yeah. Okay. So use this one, and this is the code is Laravel. It's a Laravel application. And one more, you, we have a user here, so you see. Now it's uh, empty. And we have this content assets is going to be here, and it's working with the dot yum file. So we have a collections and pages here. From now we have only the home. We have a global and the navigation. Okay, navigation here. Taxonomy is here. Now I want to register a new user. And we need to go to so just run this. Okay, and go to the quick start here. And we need to run this PHP. Please make user. Copy this one. Run it here and give it the email, for example. 
Тест. Да, да, да. да. Slash test name Laravel and password. Okay, you can put your password here. And you want this to be super user? Yes. Another user is created. Now, if I go here and navigate to the Laravel. The test here is the Statamic website. We have the documentation to Statamic Dev, get support from uh, Statamic Com and Control Panel. So if you go here, you need to pass the email and password you added here. Okay, so I have this email so Pass it here and the password and login. And here is the like uh, WordPress, the CMS of Statamic. And we have the collection here. For now, we have only pages and we have on the home page, which is welcome to your new to your new Statamic website. Again, level the test, and we have a navigation. Is is not we we can create here navigations. We have a taxonomies here assets and we can create a folder upload uh, blueprints and we are going to work uh, in the next video with that so we have a uh, three blueprints we have pages assets and the user and pages if you go here you have the title of this is pages and the section for mind section and sidebar the sub mind section has title content author and template and sidebar has a slug and parent so if we go to the pages here and home page you see here is the title content author and template you have a default layout and errors for the form and here is the A slug and published or not so you go here inside the pages so the sidebar it has slug and parent here is the mine so you, you can create a field one more field for example here and add there for example I'm going to add the just text and leave it and I'm going to delete again so if I finish so we add the text here save this one and now if I go here home and we have a text okay so in the next video we are going to look more of that remove now save and you go here you don't have so you can add how many fields you want you have array grid select uh, toggle and here you have an option for only for text for example here for media here and relationship with assets collection entries uh, form sites and other stuff Okay, I think this is this video is going to be enough for now and you see I see you in the next video. If you like please subscribe to my channel and share with your fans. Thank you very much and see you.